Richards. And I'm Brett Edwards. Right to breaking news. A major development in the murder of a Chicago rapper gunned down in the middle of the day in the Gold Coast. CBS 2 Stephen Graves is live at FBI headquarters with this big break in the investigation. Stephen. Brett, Erica, that break coming with multiple arrests of gang members. Those who were involved in what the feds say were multiple crimes throughout the city explaining that murder in broad daylight they say was done for a reason. The barrage of gunshots caught on video is hard to forget. The shooting police believe was committed by four people who jumped out of two cars on a busy Gold Coast street traumatized shoppers and killed Chicago rapper FBG Duck in August of last year. Thank you and thank you all for being here. Now more than a year later, Chicago police, the FBI and federal prosecutors announcing charges all against five men who they say are all members of the O Block Street Gang. That these five individuals, the majority of them picked up Wednesday morning near 63rd and King on Chicago's South Side. The indictment also charges federal prosecutors getting involved because they say the group is responsible for an elaborate string of crimes connected to the shooting. Some involved drug trafficking and violent crimes to protect other members. The murder of rapper FBG Duck, also known as Carlton Weekly, was believed by law enforcement to be one of the acts that helped with, quote, maintaining and increasing positions in O Block. Prosecutors also used social media and music videos to build a case. They say the men used both to publicly claim acts of violence, taunt rival gangs, and again, improve ranking and status. Chicago police and the feds today saying they hope this speaks to the public and those hoping to commit similar criminal acts. We are serious about our collaboration together the federal partners. There are now five people in custody who weren't in custody before, and now it's known to them and it's known to anybody else who might be committing similar acts of brazen violence, right? And who may brag about it or not brag about it, that their day has come. And federal prosecutors did not go into too many details about the arrests, including, say, the rank and file of these members within the gang. They do say they continue to investigate many connected crimes. Reporting at Chicago's FBI headquarters, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Right now, just across.